Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now it's not a detailing video as such, this is more updates on my detailing van. Um, some of you have requested that I did do a video of this because as you can see, we've got no front end, um, we've got parts everywhere. The detailing bay doesn't look like a detailing bay at the minute, that's for sure. Um, we are doing various bits and pieces. We are gonna convert it to a version two tour and front end, which has been fully color coded. We've got a nice new set of wheels to go on. Um, so I'm not gonna mess around, we'll just jump in and you'll see the time lapse of me building it and lining it all back up together. And we'll have a chat when it's all done. Freshly painted wings arrived back from the paint shop yesterday. Uh, we have got the bonnet and everything, obviously the bumper's all been color coded, it's in the office. And one of the hardest parts of doing this conversion is the flitches. Now they have to be drilled out, all the spot welds, there's a couple down there. We place these from the caddy to the tour end ones just because the front panel obviously is different, the bumpers are different, the wings are different. So we have to do them and we've also got to do a little bit of repair work to this one. We're gonna heat it, plastic weld it all back in so it's all sick, get rid of that little metal bracket. That doesn't look good, does it? Um, get that all done and then we'll be good to go. So yeah, let's keep plodding on. So there we are, the van is done, back together. Now I did cut the time lapse short because you would have ended up with about half an hour's worth of time lapse of me tinkering around, changing brackets, panels on and off. And yeah, I don't want to watch half an hour of that. Um, so the van is done, say so we're all good, back together. Uh, wheels are back on, there's a little bit of a clue there. Um, let's flip you around and we'll have a look and see what we've got and what we've done and explain a bit about it. Here is the finished product. Um, we're now supporting a version two Touran front end. This is from a 2010 Touran, hence it has the black inserted headlights. Uh, I think they just give a much nicer look than the chrome ones. We are also running a nice brand new set of 1552 Tarmacs. A huge, huge thank you to 1552 for sorting me out with those um, because you can't get them in a caddy fitment anymore, unfortunately. So we've had to get these and have them custom machined to make them fit. Um, again, yes, a huge thank you to them guys for sorting it out for me. It is appreciated. They look absolutely insane on the caddy and they are probably one of my favorite wheels made full stop. Um, they're nice and easy to clean, which is for a detailer, a big important thing, unfortunately. So they do the job perfectly and they look great. And especially with the tour in front end now, um, all this grill was previously chrome. So we've done all the center section has now been color coded. We've took the heat gun and g Technic C4 to all that bottom grill and the top grill. We've plastic dipped the badge. Uh, I am toying with a badgeless grill, uh, but I'm not too sure yet. I might keep the badge, we'll see. But yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, it looks quite evil. 
and it changes the look of the van massively, I think, compared to a standard caddy front. It looks absolutely great. Uh, we have still got to repolish it. You can see just there, there's a couple of flat patches where he's right to repolished it, obviously, to get rid of any dust or anything that was in the paint, should there have been any. Um, I need to just refine the bonnet and the wings and the bumper. That's not a problem. The whole van is due a full um, machine polish and coating again soon, but obviously we can't do this for a little while because it's freshly painted. Now, a huge thank you to the painter. Um, he did turn this around in two days. So that was a bonnet inside and out, strip and paint the bumper and the grills, repair and paint both of the front wings because they had dents in them. Um, and he's also painted the side rail cover that we've now got fitted. Obviously that wasn't fitted before, just finishes the van off. So again, yeah, thanks to the painter. Uh, we've actually managed to do this whole conversion in four days. So I'm happy with that because as of Monday, we're back to work, uh, taking on some work, not going back to the extent we was before lockdown, but we're going to do some bits. But let's pull it outside and we'll have a look at it in the daylight as well. And there she is outside. I think it looks great, to be honest. Um, once we've got some LEDs in the headlights and indicators and bits, it should look great. Set the van off nicely. Need some bigger brakes now. Now, part of um, my conversation with 1552 when I bought the wheels was that I would run some stickers for them, uh, which isn't an issue, doesn't bother me. Do I put these on the spokes? Um, a lot of you will have seen Ken Block does that sort of thing. I personally think it's nice. I don't mind it. A lot of people don't like it. So I am interested in the comments that this will gain. Uh, so please drop a comment in the comments box. Yes or no to the stickers on the spokes. Uh, it will be something, obviously something like that sort of thing. Um, I don't know. Let me know your comments. I'm interested to see what people's views are on that sort of thing. But I think it looks incredible, to be honest. Now there's the van finished. Um, so it is back ready for work tomorrow morning. We are gonna do some work now, thankfully. Get bored of not being able to do any. Um, we have got a few other things in the pipeline. I am toying with the idea of air for it, but we're not entirely sure yet. It will depend on cost, because Air is not cheap, unfortunately. Um, we have got a full graphics design being done for the vehicle. It's in the hands of someone very, very capable. Um, he designs a lot of the drift cars for my photography side of things. So I know his work is amazing, to be fair. So I've got every bit of faith. I have sent him a template of something I do like. And if it comes out half as good as a template from another one, it will look incredible. Um, and it will certainly stand out. That's all I'm going to say. But... Yeah, so other than that, thanks for watching the video. Again, thank you to all the old and new subscribers for the comments and the feedback, it is appreciated. Now I know a lot of you are also wanting the next part in the Tour Around series. This is due sometime soon. Um, the vehicle is just parked at the minute, it's not doing anything. It will get done, but obviously now we're going back to work, that will become priority, so it might be a few days, but the Tour Around video will be coming and we will get that finished so you can see the rest of the series. Stay safe and we'll see you on the next video.